Hello everybody, welcome to a new episode of How Do You See RC Conversion from the Little Glider or Little Glider RC Conversion Test Flight number one. This is the very first test flight and the most important thing is I have to see if we get enough thrust out of this motor and prop combination the smallest motor that I have then of course is the thrust angle correct and is the balance of the CG correct and of course we're going to have to trim it in flight at the first test flight but this CD is uh, at one third of the wing. That's where it should be, plus minus. Oh, so I have to fine tune it, but this is my, a, a guess. And uh, I hope the plane is not heavy for this little proper motor to fly. And as you can see, I added two batteries at the bottom of the plane, and I added two more batteries in the canopy. I just hid it inside of it. It was just enough space for two extra batteries adding 100 grams of nose weight to make it balanced so uh, it's wind quiet plus minus the windmills are blowing and the wind direction is coming from that way so i'm gonna throw it sideways because if we go that way it's down downwind a little bit tricky so uh, with a little bit of trust it's not gonna fly fast that i can guarantee you that if it's gonna fly at all so let's take off and find out Okay, uh, can I always see? I need to trim out the other ones a little bit. And the elevator is down, so let's bring it up. Yeah, it's vertical. It's gonna be in neutral. Oh, one over there, one on this side. Two antennas. Fingers crossed. Mm, it did fly a little bit, but then we lost thrust somehow. We crashed already. There, ten meters. Well, it did fly nice and straight and it was stable and we broke the prop and that was it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that was the fun. But somehow, oh, yeah. maybe the prop was just super weak and broke mid-air. One of the reasons why we could fly, we lost thrust, but damn, damn, we didn't see any props at the crash site. But the plane is still in good working order. Ah, but it was a very short 10 meters. But that's why I like to break, uh, build unbreakable planes. So they can withstand some of the crashes that we're going to have. The first test, few test flights. Before you get it ready and nicely finely tuned. So let's go back inside, find a myself a new prop and let's try it again. And we have the same, same problem. This is losing connection and regaining connection. Even with the new EC, so there is a different issue. Ah, we have to go back to the bench. Still working on the new product, the little flighter RC conversion. And we changed it up, the thrust angles, the last change that we made. Woods, windy, it's cold, but the sun is out. It's a beautiful day. Ah, we put two washers behind the tr motor thrust, the motor mount, so that we carry it more downward, opponent angle. Hopefully that is good enough. Maybe it's too much, and that's fine. but I hope it will be the last test flight, so we can dial in the plane and we'll be just right on the dot. Let's throw it out and see how good it flies. Just leaning a bit to the right, to the left, a little bit down. Okay. Oh. Okay, 
give it to the right. Yes, sir. Whoa, <laughs> that was close. Flying nice, got it all trimmed out, and uh, this is perfectly working. Didn't add any weight, just the thrust angle, and this is performing. Flying almost straight when I'm letting the stick go, and uh, it's just freaking cold, freezing cold. How slow can you fly? I'm just putting the thrust down. Keeping her in the wind. This is losing altitude. Thrust up. Oh. Out of battery. Out of battery. Oh, we need to. Selfie plane, but it was a good test flight with a soft landing. Woo, it's cold. Just have to change out the battery. 